Returning after a two-year hiatus due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the Ministry of Education on Monday launched its Mastermani Band. The designer, Nielsen Norris, explained that the costumes depict elements that coincide with various elements of the Ministry of Education's initiatives for the development of the education sector. Well, um, we're doing wheels of progress and um, like I said, we're basically focusing on all these, the plans that the Minister has in store for the education sector. Um, she has a large vision and is basically trying to bring her vision to life. Ministry of Education has always been one of the eye-catching bands and we want to continue that trend. This year, the Ministry will be participating in the small category and according to the Ministry's DPS admin, Indrani Ramnarin, the ministry is in it to win it. As an education body, we are on the wheels of progress and we are going to be depicting a number of concepts that the Honorable Minister and the Ministry of Education as a whole have been embarking on. So we are all about inclusion, instructional education, theater arts, music, TIFET and everything else. We will be featured on the 23rd and we are going there to win. Education is always a winner. As part of its calendar of activities leading to Republic Day, the Ministry will be hosting several activities starting on February 16th at the National Cultural Centre as part of its Children's MASH competition. The Children Costume and Float Parade will close off the event on February 18th. I know it's going to be fun, it's going to be exciting. Um, it's after two years, we're now back on the road celebrating this One Guyana initiative as envisioned by His Excellency and of course the Ministry of Education is optimistic and ready for this activity as well. Mash Romani 2023 is celebrated under the theme Mixing and Mashing as one Guyana. Local artist Vanilla, who will be part of the band, joined in for the reveal of the band's costume. Lazini Yearwood reporting for the newsroom.